What's up, nerds? Today, we're going to talk about this new Halo Studio, Halo's Back. Is Halo back? I mean, there's some stuff to like, and there's some stuff to question, maybe? <laughs> let's face it, you're still 343, but let's dive into this video and see what it's about. All right, so um, 343 slash Halo Studio, as we'll see here, released this video uh, not that long ago. I think it was yesterday, uh, the time of this recording. Um, and it's really to, I guess, try and reinvent Halo. So let's see what they uh, are going to do to re reinvent Halo. Chris Matthews, take one, Mark. This is Casey Wu, take one, Mark. I was told yeah. that I can just be my authentic self, Chris. <laughs> For six years, I don't want to be in front of a camera. <laughs> There's so much to do and so much fun to be had when you play Halo that I feel like I never run out of things to do. I love intricate stories that take place across lots of different worlds, have lots of different meaningful characters. What made Halo successful at the beginning? What is the legacy of Halo and what's the soul that we want to bring forward? And what's the craft of making Halo games? And how do we set our studio up best to go deliver on that? All right, so first off, this feels like damage control. Uh, obviously, we all know that the last few Halo games have not performed well, really at all. Um, Halo Infinite looked pretty good, but what they're kind of saying here is is the truth. It lacked that special sauce, whatever it was, you know, and Bungie actually kind of divulged this information a while back, I think during a Vidoc in, um, in Halo 2. It's 15 seconds of fun. Focus on 15 seconds of fun, focus on the thing that makes the game fun, and then go from there, and then they crafted a really beautiful story around that. Space Marine 2 just did that really really well, by the way. Um, FYI, Halo devs worked on Space Marine 2, former Halo devs. We knew we had to make a change in order to take us into the future. When I first heard about Halo moving on Real Engine, my first thought was, this is going to be a really hard secret to keep. I think fans are going to be excited about the future of Halo because of the possibilities that are afforded us by using Unreal. Before, we really had to split our focus in thinking about building an engine, supporting it, being really kind of a tech company and a studio at the same time. Since we've made the change to shift to UE, we can bring Halo forward in ways that people have never seen before while still being true to what Halo is. The Foundry Project. So right there, another issue. So what you're doing is you're saying because you haven't been using Unreal Engine, that's what's been stifling your creativity. Like you've had to be a tech company and whatever. You've had the power of Microsoft behind you with the, the I'm pretty sure Microsoft would give any resource they'd want to get Halo popular again, to get Halo actually successful again. They would give you every resource possible. Now, the rumor slash not really a rumor um, that was all over social media. Uh, there was an inside person that got some inside information that called out the fact that 343 was not hiring former Bungie employees. And they were doing that on purpose. Bungie employees would show up. They left Bungie, maybe didn't agree with the whole Destiny thing, whatever, or maybe just wanted to still work on Halo. Let's face it, Halo's a pretty cool game to work on. And they would show up to the door for an interview and be told that they couldn't come. Now, they did hire former Bungie employees, Frank O'Connor, uh, I think Joe Staden, a few other people did go there, but they're no longer there. Maybe Frank has, I'll have to look it up. Quote me, don't quote me on that. Let me know in the comments. But um, some of these guys that they brought in to maybe quote unquote save Infinite left. And I think they're at Netflix Games now or doing their own thing. Or they're working on Space Marine too. So I don't know. I'm not buying this, 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 this coping thing here where she's like, oh, well, because we had to be a tech company and because we had to kind of make our own engine, we couldn't focus on being creative. I mean... I don't know. I don't blame the IT team uh, for the lack of creativity in my job. You know, <laughs> like, I don't know. Was an effort to show ourselves how far we can push things using Unreal 5. Our new studio art director, Chris, came to me and said, hey, I have this crazy idea. He said, hey, there's this thing called Project Foundry that I want to do. Let's make it happen. Foundry specifically is based around the same concept of the foundry in Halo lore is the place where Halo rings are born. It 
it's not a game, it's a research project for our studio so we can prepare ourselves for the next steps of making Halo games. The original Halo franchise. Okay, from what they just showed, it looks great. It looks good. Um, but I don't think Halo... I don't think the problem currently with Halo was that it didn't look good. It was a graphic showcase. Um, it was best in class. That's what Halo was when it first was released, and that's what Halo needs to be again. Okay, right there. See how they showed you the Mark One armor from Halo CE? They're playing into the idea that, oh, we're going to show them that, you know, the old school armor and the old school Halo, and that's really going to bring them in, right? It looked good. It looks great. I mean, it looks awesome on Unreal Engine 5, as it should. So once Project Foundry had been approved, we took the entire creative team and we ideated on three locations something old, something new, and something really alien. We had the Pacific Northwest, which is sort of traditional Halo biome. We were trying to shove as much foliage in there as humanly possible to make it really feel like you're on a hike in the, you know, Cascades. The Cold Lands, which was the second biome that we took on, it was more of a technical showcase where we could play with shaders, we could play with deformable landscapes and terrains. Unreal affords us more opportunity than we've ever had in the past. You know, on the surface, it might just look all like snow, but how many layers of things combine to really give that winter look? And then our third biome was the Blightlands, which is any land that's been completely taken over by the flood. I wanted to give our team the opportunity to really express an alien world, a really alien world, taking something way further than they may have actually done in previous Halo games. What's impressed me about watching the Halo team work in Unreal is how beautiful everything looks, how incredible the environments look. I don't think we've seen anything quite like it in Unreal Engine before. Fortunately, we have a studio that's really passionate about Halo, about the look and the feel, and you know, I think there's a lot of hunger to really collaborate, to move forward together. Foundry was... And I think, he, I think he's right. I think there is a lot of hunger to really push the studio forward, because let's face it, they need to make money. They need these things to be successful. They want these things to be successful. We want them to be good and successful, so... I think there's a lot of drive here. There's a lot of, you know, positivity where they're really trying to push things, which is great. And it looks beautiful. Um, from a marketing perspective, I will say a lot of this is all just trying to sell us on the fact that, hey, we're going to Unreal Engine 5. Look how pretty it is, right? You even have an Unreal Engine tech there saying, look how beautiful they're making everything. Um, it's, it's, it sounds good. It was an initiative that touched on every part of the creative process, everything from concept art, VFX, characters, vehicles, and weapons to make the future games of Halo. Creating an asset, taking this design, now we can really dig into material foundations. What is it actually made of? How is it physically accurate um, to the world? Now we get to take all the, the wonderful legacy assets that we have, bring them to life, and bring them to uh, today's standards. We are really excited to be not just working on multiple projects, but also expanding our studio. As a lifelong Halo player, I think the game's only going to get better when we get those new, unique... Wait, they're expanding their studio. Didn't they just have layoffs like a year ago? Or even this year, I think? It, it wasn't long ago that 343 was laying people off. Microsoft had, what, a few thousand jobs getting laid off. Now they're expanding their studio because they have Unreal Engine 5. So I guess Unreal Engine 5 is the savior of you know, 343 slash Microsoft Games. Uh, perspectives and people bring in their expertise and uh, passion for the Halo franchise. We are looking for new talent as the projects that we're working on kind of get further and further into their development cycles. And it is great to be part of a team that's growing because you can kind of see that, that force multiplied as people come in and take on challenges and you can... This is a recruitment video. This is a recruitment video. We know we have been blowing it. We know we need to step up. Uh, we've had people quit. We need people to come. 
Look at the pretty stuff you can make in Halo. We're going to Unreal Engine. Come over. Come. Let's make Halo. This is a recruitment video. Do more. Imagine a place where you have the commitment that this is what we want to do, Halo games, and create those experiences. And you can express your talent, your creativity, and your professional ambitions in that place. We're looking for designers, we're looking for artists, we're looking for engineers. It feels like a new beginning for the studio in a lot of ways. I will say, if I believed in this studio and I believed in what they were doing and I really could see the passion and driven behind it, I'd apply. I'd apply to go be one of your graphic designers right now or marketing directors or whatever you need, creative director. Um, sadly, I could say that, you know, number one, you'd have to probably move on location. If you looked at the internal workings of the company there, the uh, desk weren't really probably the best. The monitors looked like they were tiny. Uh, these are all just things like you notice as a creative when you're working in these spaces, like you want a really cool space and working on Halo with a single monitor. Looks like it was 27 inches right next to the other person. Probably not a good look, 343 or whatever your name is now. <laughs> and I think that's pretty rare. And I think we arrived now at a point where you see the beginnings of people to start to believe in the process. There's so much momentum that we have right now and focus and clarity on not just what we're building, but why we're building and kind of this next phase of Halo. The worlds that we're building, the stories that we're going after. The potential at Halo right now is huge. Halo Infinite was the last remnants of how we made Halo games in the past. That was our recipe. And what we are doing right now, we're changing their recipe. stop right there that's the end of the video halo studios uh, we're different we're gonna change the recipe of how to make halo games like that works out that, that's worked out before and if you notice the studio head and i think it was a vp of operations they constantly reassured that we're pushing we're driving we're innovating we're doing something different right it's all great it's all good to hear everything in this video was beautiful the graphics are beautiful the effects were beautiful um I think this could work. I think giving some refreshing courses and, and giving a refresher to Halo and maybe really diving back into see that, that that's the only thing that tripped me up there is is changing the the template of making Halo. Now hopefully they're changing the template of making Halo the three four three way, right? But I wanted to freeze on this real quick. Because what other studios in the industry do you know that have changed their name to like the God of War Studios? You know, <laughs> the Uncharted Studios, the Last of Us Studio, the Gears of War Studio, right? I mean, there's the Coalition, but that's cool. It's like a part of it. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of free advice here, 343. I think you probably should have just changed from 343 and just named it Guilty Spark Studios. A little bit of free, uh, free name there for you. I'll even help you do the logo if you want. But at the end of the day, this is why I wanted to freeze on it. So this shows us a, a view into the future and what I will say... From a creative standpoint, uh, they showed all the little lines that made up the logo and all that stuff too. It's it's um, it's cool. They had a bunch of angles. This is a new take on the Halo logo, I guess. Right? And they were trying to reinvent Halo, I guess, for another generation. Maybe not my generation. Maybe not your generation. You know, we were here from from Halo with Halo from day one. But this shows me right here that they're not changing. This right here shows me that they're just wanting to move on. And they want you to forget everything in the past. I would have never approved this logo because it's hard to read. I would have never looked at this logo and said, yeah, that's good. Let's go. Let's rock that. Um, maybe it's because I need designers. I'm not sure. I'm not knocking on you. 343 Halo Studio designer that did the logo or agency. Maybe that they hired to do the logo. They got the money. Um, this shows me you're not really. You show me all kind of beautiful things. I mean, I mean, look at this stuff, right? Like, look at the the detail, the fidelity in, in all these renderings right here. Like this is just this, like this right here looks fantastic. I've seen other games look better, but I do like where you're going with the lighting and the style. This looks like Halo. 
it looks like Halo for a modern era. I agree. Like this looks great. This looks fantastic. The the way the light hits. I mean, that's the biggest thing in video games, by the way, guys, girls, everyone. It's lighting. Lighting is everything. Uh, like look at the water, the way those reflections are. It looks great, and it really gets you excited, maybe for what can come. This looks cool. I love the way that we have a flood world. Like that is really cool. This flood world looks awesome and hyper detailed. And we didn't even get the flood, by the way, in Halo Infinite. There were they, it was all these promises of Halo Infinite, and it just kind of died off, right? Um, even the way Chief looks here, I mean, he looks like he's Master Chief from the old games. It looks like a Halo Two Elite with a, or maybe a Halo One, no, a Halo Two Elite with a Halo One Master Chief, right? Uh, this is a cool pose. I mean, it's really nice that they're getting this foreground, giving you that depth of field uh, with these shots. It's really cool. Uh, this looks the fidelity. The, the I mean, the detail looks great. And you really have me at a point where I'm going, man, this, yeah, this could be cool. Um, but the only hesitations I have is like when I get to stuff like this. I mean, the same people that were making the decisions on the creative pieces. And that's what I would say. Like, it's almost like they try to dodge the creative bullet. They try to dodge the creativity piece of like, oh yeah, well we we've been trying to be creative, but we were just stuck. Um, yeah, this is just my thoughts from a creative perspective, from a Halo fan's perspective. I want what's best for Halo. We all want what's best for Halo. We want Halo to become the Halo of old, the Halo of picking up the old controller and playing with your friends and having fun. But let's face it, we also want the Halo with the good story, the Halo that sucked us in, you know. And that's what Space Marine Two brought. Maybe start there, Halo Studios 343. This is almost like an X thing. I probably can't call them Halo Studios. It just, come on, like Halo Studios? Like, who did you hire to come up with this name? What brainstorm, what brain trust did you get into a boardroom and said, you know what, let's call the studio a Halo Studios so they know what we make? Like I said, I don't know if it's a reinvention for trying for the new generation, but I'll tell you right now, just as a creative, and um, I would never have approved this logo. I, I would have been like, no, we could do way better than that. This looks like a first round logo from an intern that came in on the project and said, you know what? This looks cool, guys. It's like modern, but not really modern. Look, it still has the little lines, but it kind of matches the O. No. I think the tasteful rendition of Halo Reach's version of the Halo logo is perfect. I think that was a really nice modernization of that logo and evolution of that logo. I think this, I think this is something an intern did that they were hiring now. Obviously, they said they're hiring. So if you feel like, you know, you want to hop in on that marketing team and do some cool some cool work, uh, you guys want to hit me up, send me an email. We, we can we can talk about doing some freelance. But at the end of the day, um, I really do hope this is a step in the right direction. I really do. I truly hope. I know some of this feedback has been negative, but I'm just trying to be realistic. I'm trying to be realistic with, 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 with what's happened over the last years, decade, actually, I think, with Halo, with 343. You, you literally ignored the Bungie people coming to your office. You literally would tell them that they can't hire them. Then you would like literally go after people for saying negative things about the team. Then you wouldn't really do what the fans... I mean, to be honest, in all retrospect, like let's look back at the, the history of Halo here. If they went Battle Royale with Halo, or had some kind of Battle Royale with Halo Infinite, they would have saved Halo. And if they really kind of looked at the structure of what made halo fun at the end of the day halo was super fun with people with co-op and halo infinite launching without co-op was inexcusable it, is, it was downright atrocious like give us another five months or even a year i would have rather waited for halo infinite to be done than you do like every other uh cop out company game company and blame COVID and blame all these other things and say well we couldn't get it done then we, we'll wait that was one of those frustrating things playing Infinite was I was like, you know, it's it's decent. It looks pretty good. It's actually kind of fun. It's open world. It, it, it had some of that old school vibe to it. But I couldn't play with my friends. Couldn't play the campaign. Couldn't play Legendary with a friend. And it was like months, almost a year, I think, before we got co-op. It just shows you what their priorities were. And the priorities have been making money. But obviously that was the priority and it wasn't happening. So enter Halo Studios. Um... Let me know what you think in the comments. I know this went about 20 minutes, a little bit longer than I thought, but I this is kind of the first video, um, just watching a video and reacting to it. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think about my thoughts. I'm giving a little bit more probably insight than maybe some other people would have into some of this stuff, but um, 
I really do hope for the best. I really hope that Halo Studios brings Halo back. I hope that Unreal really does maybe unlock creativity, as they said. I'll buy what you're putting down when you release the game and we play it and see it for what it's worth. I'm thinking that this is probably running on their next hardware, not this one. I don't think we're getting another Halo on Series X. I think this will probably be the next Xbox, which might be what Air, uh, Series XX or I don't know what the name is. Like, come on, let's just keep the names of the Xbox as cool, like the Scorpio. Just you should have just called it Xbox Scorpio. We th that's cool. Um, but anyway, let me know what you think about this news in the comments. Um, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and there'll probably be some kind of related video somewhere on this screen. Until next time. We'll see y'all soon.